It is 5.01. Good morning to you and welcome to the CBS 42 Morning News. I'm Art Franklin, along with Storm Track Meteorologist Ashley Gann and, of course, real-time traffic anchor Rachel Lumberg there. We're going to get to that and this in a second, but we need to start off by welcoming to the CBS 42 oh, Morning News, Lee Garner. Yes. Thanks so much. Great exhibition. to have you. We're I'm so glad to have you. And I'm so excited to be here bright and early on this <laughs> dark and and gorgeous <laughs> Monday morning. Yeah, and It must not have hit you yet. <laughs> Let's check back in on Wednesday, see how you feel. Check back in with me tomorrow okay. after the national oh, yeah. championship tonight. Okay. Okay. That's right, because she'll got be up. Some Got yeah. some stuff to do tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Speaking about that, we've got some stuff to do with the weather to do as well because mm -hmm. it's really going to affect the national championship. It possibly could. I've actually been watching very closely for some reports coming out of Atlanta because they're under a winter weather advisory as well. And they've actually told, told all non essential government. Uh, uh, officials or uh, employees to maybe possibly not come to work today because of the conditions that will be occurring later on in the day in Atlanta. So if you do plan on driving eastbound to Atlanta, please be careful. The roadways could be very slick because of this rain. Temperatures are expected to be a smidge colder in Atlanta, and that is going to drive some potential for more ice. So be aware. All right, here locally, we're talking Gadsden. We're talking a chance for some icing here. Temperatures have dropped to 33 degrees. We're going to be watching this very 